that this gonna be the day. All right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I know I can say. Let me cheer though. Hey. So sad, K K K K K K. Young nigga, I got old cats spazzing on their ass. I got Prada on my whole ass. Got my hey. What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. Y'all already know how I be. Straight from the 305 Miami Dade County, but living in Orlando. Y'all know I move out here for College Fish UCF in December 2018. Got my bachelor's degree in business. Shout out to me. I appreciate y'all. If it's the first time y'all join the channel, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that shit. Smash it like a bad B. Like, you know that girl that you see fine. Like, dang, she bad. And then you get the opportunity, you bad. Smash and do it good, too. Because if you don't do it good, she gonna find another man i'm just telling you but y'all already know how it is it's time for story time i got the best story times on youtube check out my story time plays i'm telling y'all my plays got so much great story time it's gonna make y'all laugh cry scare everything and y'all get to know more about my dad <laughs> speaking of my dad the story time go back to him but we ain't gonna waste all to any time nah bro. he said like he said like nah birds to the old west and not wide earth nah, we ain't gonna no time to convert all right, we ain't gonna interrupt no more opportunity. Let's go straight to a story time. So today's story time is gonna be the day my mom finally separated from my dad. So basically, <laughs> it is a funny day too. Y'all gonna love it, and you gonna love it. But yeah, um, so my dad, like, I grew up with basically in the household where my dad put his hands on my mom, and it's a deep subject for me because. I grew up in a Haitian household, so basically, us, it was, we was learning at a young age, like, never, never, like, challenge your parents, never go against the norm. Even, like, I, we didn't know at such a young age, now I know, but I'm, but I'm saying, like, back then, it was so immature that seeing my mom get hit, put, like, my dad lay hands on her, or basically, like, uh, the shouting, the threatening her, we all thought, like, okay, as long as it's never done, and it's just seeing we all in the household know, no one else have to know. And it was just like, okay, when we outside acting like a family, when we know indoors, he's disrespecting her. And he says he loves her, but it's more like you're not showing it. You're basically saying, threatening to send her back to Haiti, putting your hands in her face saying, and she said, keep messing with me, things like that. And it's like, it's just a lot of degrees to it. So me and my brother we never did anything every time we try to lace hand my 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 mom my sister was the one to get in the way like she said this my mom he said you you and my sister was about that favorite he said he, he said i'll whoop you with things like that like he basically like he got angry at my sister when he when she basically got in between him trying to lay his hands on my mom and i know like I, I admit, me and my brother was pathetic because we're the guys in the house. We were the ones supposed to be doing something. But like I said, like in the Haitian household, it's kind of like our mind frame was growth with like never challenging the parent. Trust me, guys. Like, like yeah, it was. We were immature. We didn't know any better. Me and my brother would just be in our rooms while all of this was happening. So basically, like um. That's the type of relationship they had. It was cursing at each other, disrespecting each other. One time, mom said, while she was sleeping, he basically, like, he said he nearly kind of choked her to death, but he he didn't. He, 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 he said he was sleeping. He don't remember any of that. If she didn't wake up and realize what he was doing, who knows? Like, God forbid, man. Like, God is good all the time and stuff like that. So it's like, it was a lot of stuff that was sick and talk, and toxic. You know, I can't say toxic. Talk. Talk, toxic, toxic. Yeah, there you go, toxic. That was toxic about the relationship. And basically, like, um, they couldn't be together anymore. It's like, but it took a long time for mom to do the decision. I think it was because of us. She wanted to show unity and, like, not separation. So simple. And as Christians, uh, especially, like, you know, it's like, it's like she didn't want to show division so easily. So she dealt with it. But just dealing with something like that is not right. Like, now we see, like I said, like, back then, the immaturity and not knowing so much, not being taught so much. In the household is what you see is what you're taught. So you basically thought, okay, like they're just going through, but like laying hands, like come on, my sister, they have to be so, yeah. So, um, so then one day he went to Haiti because he used to always go back and forth to Haiti and things like that from Miami to Haiti, from Miami to Haiti. 
So he went to Haiti. My mom bought a locksmith and they changed the whole lock. She talked to the, the landlord too, to basically make it happen. He, at first he was against it, but then he, he, they eventually agreed to it. And, um, the locksmith changed the locks. We all got new keys. My mom got new keys, things like that. Cause she knew exactly when my dad's coming back to Haiti. She knew that. So basically my dad calling us saying, Oh, I'm in the airport. I'm heading home. I can't wait to see y'all. We couldn't tell him shit. So he's like on his way. They feel like, Oh, life's gotta be good again. Disrespecting my mom and basically like, um, it's gonna basically go back to how it is. Like, like no question, things like that. Then he gets it. He come back from a like two, two in the morning and things like that. So and by that time, like we were sleeping, but when he was knocking at the door, we woke up. They knocked. He said, he's like, hey, why, why, why the key don't work? And he said, hey, hey, and things like he's knocking. He's like, hey, 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 he's open the door, open the door. And mom said, mom said, mom said, nobody wants you here. Leave, leave, please leave before I call police. And he said, hey. Open the door, open it. And he was at the door like this. He said, he said, you see you? You disrespect me like that? If you don't open the door. It was like back and forth. And then basically it was more like, um, it was more like, okay. So it's like, ah, he said, he said, open the door, open the door and things like that. So it was going back and forth. He said, I'm going to call police. And then basically it was like, it was like, all right. Like, um, so basically he, huh? That's my roommate. He tell me something. But look, so basically, um, so um, yeah, he was knocking at the door. Then after like an hour, he left. He left, and basically, like, my, we was all calm. We was all scared. We all said, "It's okay now. It's okay now." So then, when the cop finally came, the cops was actually saying he's been living in the house for over thirty days, and he's just keep these kids' father. So even if we did come and we found them here, you would have to let him in. My dad didn't know that. So basically it was scot free because if, if, if he, if my dad did stick around and the cops got here, I think he fleed before the cops got here being scared and shit like that. Not if he knew his information, he would have been good, but he didn't. So that's his fault. So basically like, um, because of that, we could, like she was allowed to basically kick him out or basically not make him step inside the house. So. As time went on, we found that he went to my uncle's house to live with my cousins and uncle, things like that. And basically, like my mom said, like, call, he called my mom and said, Oh, if you don't, if you don't this and that, he, she said, police came, they coming for your ass, <laughs> lying to him and things like that. And he said, if you don't bring my stuff, he said, my stuff over there, how you, how dare you disrespect me? He said, what was this? I come back from Haiti to basically see my family and this and that. And you do this to me. And mom said, I was tired of your shit. It's over. He said, I'm going to ask for divorce. He said, divorce me. And I said, yes, divorce you. Like, he acted like it couldn't happen. But she said, yeah, divorce you and separate you. He said, I'm done with this shit. He said, you'll get your stuff. Mm. So we was one day when my mom done gave him his stuff. So then one day we coming from church on a Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. I'm seven-day Adventist, not no Sunday. So we don't eat shrimp, lobster, no pork. But, yeah, we we driving we driving from, from, from church on Saturday. Then my mom like basically had like bags in the car, and then me and my sister like this. Mom, what, what, what bags are these, and where are we going? She said, "You'll find out." They're bad. We pulled up at our uncle's like household, and all my cousins like, "Ah, we haven't seen you in a long time." Mom <laughs> put the bags, <laughs> took the bag out of the car, fast. She's like, "Bloop, bloop, bloop." She said, "Here is it. Make sure he get his shit." She threw all of them in the garage, so all his clothes went flying outside the bag, all over the garage. Mom hopping the whip, and she went. Yeah, that was the fastest I ever saw my mom drove in my life. Mom hit him with the scary, 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 like Kodak. God, I'm done with you. But this time it was, boy, I'm done with you. Or like to the left, to the left. She threw all this shit. She was out of there. And then he was, he called her like two days later and said, you did it all in my garage. And she said, she didn't do that. He said, if you find the garage, I told him to give it to you. If they didn't give it to you, that's their problem. He said, goodbye and hung up. But yeah, that was the crazy day. My mom from there, she was out of there. She sent a message and that's when she came her own woman. So ladies, if y'all put your mind to it, girl power, y'all got this. Just get that nigga out of there, bro. It's your man C to the J to the C. 
Remember, like, subscribe, and comment. You can't do one of them, but like, subscribe, and then comment. Hit that, hit that subscribe. And I got so much more content and story time playlist. Check that out too. It's a Matt C. Ted J. Ted C. And I'm out. Be breezy.